A women's national basketball team leaves Island July 14th with competition scheduled to start July 16th in Yap. Guam assembled a squad built on speed and experience. Team Guam defeated the Marshall Islands last micro games for the gold medal by over 40 plus points. Uh, I thought they were the best team out there other than us obviously. Uh, it was pretty competitive for about maybe a half and uh, we made some adjustments at halftime and we were able to separate ourselves like the rest of our games and, and win pretty handedly. So um, we're pretty confident that we're going to go out there and probably do the same thing we did four years ago. Destiny Castro, one of the returnees from the last micro games in 2014, says playing at Chaminade University in Hawaii has helped her confidence in shooting the basketball. Her strength and conditioning has also increased, but it's the physicality of the games that she is most prepared for. So yeah, the micro games are probably one of the most physical games I've been to. Physically, we got to be ready for it, but not scared of it. And I think our team's not going to be scared of it, of course, but we're going to be ready to take it you know, that our bodies take it and just be able to recover and get ready for the next game. Team Guam will rely on their speed with recent high school graduates Chloe Miranda, Alicia Perez, and Rosita Duenas pushing the tempo. Mia San Nicolas is the only high school player on the team and will add presence in the middle for Team Guam. This team doesn't have too many holes. It's one of the better teams I think we've assembled in a while. Um, we definitely have a lot of speed, but uh, as I've mentioned before, it's not only speed, but skill with speed. Um, being able to handle the ball, make good quick decisions. Um, the offensive system I've implemented is very loose and open, so it allows them to, to, to keep their individuality as, as, as skillful players and, and make decisions that are, that are in the best interest of the team. Destiny Castro, Joey Lynn Pangolinan, and Callie Benaventi bring collegiate experience to the team. Destiny, Callie, and teammate Christine Valena return to help defend their 2014 gold medal. Other veterans on the squad include team captain Darren santos Stanet and Sharice Bolabola, who represented Guam at the 2015 Pacific Games in Papua New Guinea. This year's games, I feel like it's more important than last year, so I feel since it's qualifiers for SPGs, I feel like everybody's going to try and bring their best. Yeah, we always have target on our back, so we, we can't just expect to go there and win a gold medal when teams are going to come at us, so we've got to play our best every game. Coach Pelkey caught a little off guard after finding out the Micronesian Games Council decided to go with the FIBA ruling that the games will be used as a qualifier to get into the Pacific Games next year. The decision was made two months before the start of the Micro Games. I think that's a little unfair to us, um, but at the same token, uh, it is what it is. It's the rules we've been given. That's what we have to play by. And, uh, uh, you know, I'm a little frustrated by it, but I highly intend on taking my frustrations out on the teams when we play in, in Yap. Guam's Derek Cruz earned his AFC C license in 2016, and two years later he was selected by Guam Football Association to take part in the EAFF Youth Football Coaching Course in Beijing, China. The course is scheduled for late July, and Cruz looks to earn his AFC B license in a course set to begin in August. To learn more about GFA's coach education program, visit the GFA website at guamfa.com or email coacheducation at the guamfa.com. Keeping with soccer, Ukudu graduate Alexandra De Leon Guerrero received a partial tuition scholarship to play soccer for the University of Guam women's soccer team. De Leon Guerrero will suit up for the Lady Tritons for the 2018-2019 season, set to begin practice in August and begin play in September or early October. UOG is looking to move up to the Guam Football Association's Division I Women's League after playing two seasons in the W2 League.